Ole, iu. Oh, this is Hans. And this is Franz. And we are here to pump you up with the PMP beast. And Franz, let me ask you a question. Oh, yes, Hans. Ask me the question. When you get done pumping weights in the gym to be a manly man, which knife do you carry? Do you carry a manly knife or do you carry one for a little girly man? Oh, yes. I love my little girly man knife. Let me show it to you. Little girly knife. Oh, it's so light as a feather. It just flies out of my hands. Then I run home and talk to my mommy because I'm a little girly man. But Franz, you need to have the PMP. It is short for P-U-M-P-E-D-U-R. Oh yes, I want this knife so badly. It's a such a beautiful knife and it actually is not so light as a feather fly away from my Super strong masculine hand. Hey, you guys, what are you doing? Oh, we are just playing with the knife, LTK. Please do not be angry with us. You guys, get out of here. Oh, but we, we don't want to leave. No, we don't want to leave. Yes, you guys, get out. Now, get out. What are you doing? We were just playing with the BMP beast. Okay, that's enough. Oh my god. And out and close the door behind you. Oh my god. Oh jeez. What? The, oh, they got the camera running. Well, maybe I can save this video. Okay, hold on. What were we doing? Okay. I said close the door. I'll talk to you later. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess they're playing with this. Let's. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, this is not going well, probably. Okay, so this is the PMP Beast. Yes, it is. It's called the Beast. D2 steel. Anodized. And you can get this in regular titanium or a blacked out version. But it's sweet because it's a hell of a knife. Yes, it is. And uh, before I get it all skin oiled up, take a look. This one's blue. Backspacer, just a little tiny one. And uh, pocket clip. And very, very thin blade stock. It's really made for slicing, real fine work, that kind of... Okay, never mind. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> so I got this knife from White Mountain Knives. Justin, I'll give you the link to his site. Also, there is a discount code for 10% off any knife on his site. And he's got, you know, gold steel. He's got, you know, bench, base, spider cut, blah, 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 blah. Including the PMP boost. And guess what the discount code is? Just ask me. LTK. What's the discount code, huh? LTK. Well, being LTK, I must say that the discount code is LTK. <laughs> and it gives you 10% off, which is good. Because this knife lists for $349. So, that's like 35 bucks off. So, it's a hell of a deal. It's on a per gram basis. This knife is probably the cheapest knife on the market today. <laughs> Because at 45 pounds, that makes it only like a half a penny per gram. I don't know. Okay, never mind. Never mind. The PMP boost. And you know, as you may not know, or you may know, that... Ah, come here. Let's see if I can get my paperclip off. These guys in here, were they messing with everything that I had or what? They're just a mess, is right? So, if I can get through to all my, you know, I printed a lot of stuff out here, so just hold on. Oh, as you may remember, 
the Berserker, which I also did a uh, review on. Talk about a beast. Okay, so <sighs> Patrick, he's Swiss. And then he has a buddy that's Italian that did the design for this knife. And I think this was also the same here with this knife. Uh, Swiss, of course, Swiss owner, Italian designer. And uh, I'm looking for my, for my printouts. In any case, that's what I've got to say. And then apparently uh, this came to be and this is beyond bizarre. Okay, this is beyond bizarre. So I don't, I don't need to hear it. I don't need to hear it. I know what you're going to say. This is completely crazy. It's a monster. You know, this is, this doesn't make any sense. It's, a, you know, it's an axe. It's not a slicing tool. I get that. I understand. And I don't care. Okay. Every fiber in my body tells me I love this knife. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. Do you think this fuller? I love this design. This design is incredible. And then Patrick, I mean, even in his email to me, it's like uh, the beast. And then there was three utterances past that word. Like, R, R, R. I'm going, is he a pirate? Because hold on. Well, he could be Viking, right? He's kind of up in that area. But it, it's Yes, it's bizarre. And it's made by Max Ace Knives, which you may have known them before for such wonderful wonders as like the Glade, which is M390 and inserts of uh, carbon fiber and stuff. What a hell of a knife. Or like the Dweamer Assassin, which is also an M390 and it is a wicked wicked knife and let's we'll throw it on the table whatever in any case so like you may know some of these knives and they have others as well but so and they are also related to I think the Stedman knife company all that kind of stuff so comes from good DNA Chinese manufacturer can you imagine here's this Swiss guy right you heard this joke, right? Swiss guy sitting in a bar. In comes an Italian guy. They get way too many uh, loggers in them. And they start talking about developing a knife. And they try and alpha male each other out. And this comes to be. And then in walks a Chinese guy. <laughs> and, and he looks at this design and goes, no way. Never, not in a hundred years, until like six drinks later, and they're all laughing, and he goes, what the hell? <laughs> so, um, they make this knife. Okay, okay, just just to start off with, if we can, and I, you know, okay, <laughs> point three, no, point three, one, four, eight millimeter blade. Eight millimeter thick blade. Oh, hold on. Where, where are, are you? My caliper is like afraid to even try and measure across here. This is insanity. 0.81, 20. 6 millimeters thick. Stupid, stupid big. And I know, say it's stupid. Say it's idiotic. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm glad they grew the huevos to do this knife. I know I'm I'm insane and I admit it and I'm still on my medication but I'm loving this knife and nine inches overall which is like almost 23 centimeters you know it's getting there and uh, uh, basically a hundred millimeter blade length I mean come here if you got the guts to come on stage with this thing okay so um, here's fancy poor girl and uh, the beast. And yes, fancy you are diminutive, diminutive in uh, comparison. And check out the thickness. I'm sorry, I'm having a great time. I don't know about you guys. Maybe you need to, you know, put this video aside for a while. You know, go out on the patio with your buddies, have some drinks, <laughs> turn this back on later. Oh, jeez. 
it's too early in the day for me. But you know what? I mean, okay. So they cut the door out of Cheyenne Mountain, the little atomic blast proof door, and they made a blade out of it. This thing is like swinging a 50 ton <laughs> or like a bank vault door, you know, swings on hinges. Like, what's the point, damn it? But um, yes, and it actually swings out. I mean, look at that action. This is stupid. Oh, middle finger flick. <laughs> oh my God. It's just, it just, the hits just keep on coming. They really do. I look at the lockup. And look at that insert. That inserts the side of a car door from a Rambler in 1958. <laughs> that steel insert is like, what? That's a normal thickness of a scale of a normal knife. Um, it's, just, it's just insane. I mean, look at the thumb studs on this. That's the axle off of a 42 Dodge pickup, I think. Oh, my God. I don't know... But this is just way oversized. Is there some jimping? Yeah, you think? <laughs> you think? Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Actually, you can get like a 71 Pinto and drive it across it. That's wide enough. You can drive it across there. And um, it's amazing. It's just an amazing piece of work. It really is. I love this knife. I do. This knife is not going anywhere, folks. So don't even ask. I'm keeping this baby. I mean, I'll tell you what, when you get, when your testosterone, you get older and it starts going down, I mean, you don't need an injection or any of those pills or anything. Just grab this. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I just, you know, every once in a while, you just got to have some fun. And oh, I, I okay. So seriously, um, two nights ago, Oh, not nights. It was like 4.30 in the afternoon. So, uh, beautiful day. It was like 94 degrees, though. So, I put on my motorcycle boots, jeans, and stuff. I'm going to get on the bike and head down to the pub and see the guys and stuff. Have some drinks. So, um, I put this knife in my pocket. My wife saw me pick up the beast, put it in my pocket. And she goes, seriously? I mean, seriously? You're going to take that knife with you? And I go... Well, I won't tell you what I said. Yes. Basically, I said, yes, F and A, baby, I'm going to take it. And so, and so I did. And I, I sat down at the bar and pulled this out of my pocket. And the next thing I knew, nobody was in the bar. SWAT team was outside and on a bullhorn saying, Mr. LTK, please back away from the knife and come outside this is a it's it's just a beast it's ridiculous it's 14 ounces it's 14 hold on oh you this is gonna blow you away okay hold on i mean i just i you know somebody's got to make one right why not okay ounces oh i'm sorry 14.1 okay let's go units to grams Hell, it's not quite 400 grams. See, it's, and I'll tell you why. It's only 399.9 grams. Well, that's light. I didn't realize it was so lovely. And it comes in this beast of a case. Uh, PMP, he is such a crazy man. What did, I think they give you a complete car chamois for this knife. Look at this. What the hell, really? Seriously? And you get this. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Um, here's your beast. 392 grams. That's a lie. 399.9. D2. 60HRC. I mean, uh, come on. You know, that's just insane. And of course, oh, well, you know, you get the pouch. You know, you get the microfiber pouch. And it comes in a big zipper kind of semi kind of hard case thing you know it looks carbon fiber-ish and then what is this i have never taken this out oh my god so okay no i haven't swear to god like it's really that important but it it looks like it's an xxl <laughs> which is probably in keeping 
with all this insanity. Look at this. Oh my, oh my God. It's a complete, oh my, okay, never mind. Let's put it back. <sighs> he didn't, he didn't sign on to see the cloth. You want to see the knife. And this is crazy. And of course, I'm already killing the anno a little bit, but uh, this is, this is a mess. It's not a flipper. So you guys, oh, I got to have a flipper. No. Flick. And you know what? That's not bearings. It's not bearings. He didn't know if he was going to use bearings or washers. But I'll tell you what. If there would have been bearings on this knife, it would have crushed the bearings into a washer. So it would have been the same thing. It didn't matter, right? It didn't matter. Oh, my God. How thick? Come here. Where's my little caliper thing? How thick are these? Oh, God. Okay. Um, about six millimeters, so about quarter inch per side. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. It's like, that makes sense to you? What is your problem? Downhill. If you're going to flick it open, maybe point the blade downhill. If you point it uphill, this 50-pound blade has to come straight up. It may be a fail, and it'll take your finger off if it does when it comes back down and guillotines it off. So use gravity. First of all, let me tell you, gravity is not just a good idea. It's the law, <laughs> just in case you didn't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt my tricep. No, I mean, and you get your, and you get your finger back behind this thumb stud. I don't know. It's just, come on, baby, do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fun knife. It's just crazy. Oh, I was gonna, I'm gonna give you the link to his site, to this PMP. It's kind of mixed in. If you type in like Max Ace knives on his site for a search, it will show these as well. Um, but you can just type in PMP and hit go and it'll bring you to these knives as well. And, but of course I took it apart. And look, I mean, these, I think these are number eights all the way through here. I think. And <laughs> now I've slept since then. But here's the washers and they weight relieved it. I mean, hold on, 14.1 ounces and they, and that's weight relieved weight, okay? Wow, what if they wouldn't have, have put the fullers in here and weight relieve this? What do you think this thing would have weighed? I know. Don't shake your heads. Don't shake your head saying, oh, this is insane. Who's going to carry a knife like that? Except me. Except me. And uh, no, I'm not going to any Midtown Manhattan cocktail parties with this in my pocket. It was their pocket sag. Duh. Duh. Yes. Do you fasten your belt an extra notch? Yes. Can you still carry it? Yes. Is it smooth? Yes. Actually, I took it apart. It was really clean as I took it apart. I mean, when I got it disassembled, it was clean. Wiped it down, put a little nano lube. And here's the deal. Look at here. The centering's a little off here. Now, I... I didn't want it tightened down as tight as it was when it came to me. So the reason it's a little off is because I, and it, you know, it's still got some daylight. There ain't much daylight coming through between anything on here, okay? Just saying, that blade stock, it ain't letting much daylight through. But I, I backed it off just a little bit, just to kind of give it, and you know, there's still no blade play. Believe me, that's insanity. And there's no lock rock. Whew. Are you still with me? Have you signed off and said this is insane? No. Now, did I say that blade stop? Yeah, I think that now that was an axle of a small John Deere tractor. I don't know. It's just like, where do you get this? Where do you get this rolling stock to do this with? Because this is not, you know, standard stuff. Believe me. But, um, you know, you got to love it. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm sitting there before the SWAT people showed up at the bar and I'm taking these cardboard. Well, this is probably what started the whole thing. I took these cardboard um, coasters 
and started slicing them up with the blade. And my buddies were just sitting there staring at me like I'd come off another planet. Is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Let's see if this will actually cut something. Oh, it started too, didn't it? Okay, let's see if I start, if I can cut something with it because it's so fat. We'll measure behind the edge, but we'll, me we'll measure. Um, hold on. Uh, come on. Yeah. You just got to get a hold of yourself, buddy. And, yeah, I mean, no. This is not the slicer and dicer from the kitchen magician thing. This is, uh, this is an axe. This is an axe. This is probably more of an axe than most axe. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, even after the cardboard. No wonder she was kind of pissed at me. Oh, I never even thought about that. Casey kind of looked at me, grabbed up all the chunks and goes, what's this? That was all those coasters I cut up. Damn. I just showing off a little bit with the beast. In any case, ah, oh, there you go. There's your cutting demonstration. Let's measure behind the edge because this can't be pretty. This can't be pretty. But that's okay. I don't, I, you know, I really don't care. Just think if you have like a huge oak tree in the backyard and you don't have an axe. There you go. And knock yourself out. Okay, let's make sure this is, let's make sure this is centered out. Are we on inches or millimeters? Uh, let's go to millimeters. Let's go to inches. Okay. So let's see what we got. I know. It's insane. And I'm insane. Where am I? Okay, hold on. Uh, probably about 30. Which isn't as bad as I had expected. Yeah, it's around 30, 32. Which is less than, look at this. I mean, this is around 50 or 40 behind the edge. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me see. And now uh, this is about the same. Yeah, it's about 30, 32 behind the edge. So it's about the same. And of course, this is a, an ax. But I mean, check this out. Okay. I mean, I mean, the SR1 from Cold Steel. I mean, this is a beast. This makes no sense. It's a crazy, stupid knife that I love, that I love, like the 4Max, right? Check that out. I mean, who's your daddy? Who is your daddy? That's just amazing, amazing. And this is 4.8 millimeters. Okay, this is 4.8 millimeters. Did I say that again? 4.8. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Actually, you add this one to that one and you almost get to this one. Maybe. Right? 3.5. Oh, well. <sighs> Stop it. Just insane. It's insane. I, I don't know, but... I, I am I am glad that they had the guts to make this knife. I think it's just insane. I've been playing with it and having fun with it and my, driving my wife completely crazy. And, uh, you know, because it's actually so flickable. I mean, there's a lot of knives I can't center finger, middle finger flick or like that. So that's smooth. It's smoothed out after a while, you know? I mean, so it is smoothed out a bit and a little bit of nano lube and that kind of stuff. And then I adjusted the pivot the way I wanted it. So that was no big deal. But wow. I mean, once again, as I have destroyed the anno on here. Oh, by the way, this works just great. <laughs> you know, I've used it. Um, and, uh, but wow. <sighs> Slicing champion? No. Piercing champion? No. If you need to use this in a self-defense situation, you close it up first, put it in your hand, stand back, take your picture stance, and throw it. <laughs> and my wife goes, you know what? You're going to kill somebody just by throwing it at them. And I go, you know what? That is more dangerous. You should... Just go ahead and hold it like this. Do not throw it at anybody. 
Uh, that would be really tragic. Oh my God, look at your lanyard hole area. So like a, about a three quarter inch metal cable could go through that. I don't know, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Um, you might need that. I don't know what you'd hang it off of the something. You couldn't hang it off your rear view mirror. You'd knock your windshield out or something. I don't know what you'd do, but that ain't going on your keychain, buddy. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Whew. Man, it's smooth, though. I'm kind of glad he went with washers. I was disappointed at first. It's like, why aren't we getting bearings in here? And, you know, and then I thought about why aren't we getting, like, M390? But, you know, I mean... You got a lot of material here. And you know what? I'm not sure they make M390 in 8mm stock. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, you tell me, but uh, can it be done? I'm sure it can be, or S35 or whatever. But, you know, D2 is a tool steel, so it's not just knife blades, right? Uh, so they have to make it in heavy, heavy stock uh, that you can use for various, you know, tools and things that you're going to make. So you could get this, um, but uh, I'm not sure about the other stuff. I don't know if they've ever made it. I've never seen it. Of course, I. when's the last time you saw a knife with an eight millimeter thick blade stock anyhow? And it feels good in the hands. Of the thing. And you know, crazy is enough. And I don't have like monster huge hands, but wow, you know, it cradles you right here. Look at this. That's silly. I know. I know. I've taken a lot of time. What have I not talked about? Pretty much everything I have not talked about. Swedge on top, you know, stone wash, blade, all this kind of stuff. But still, <sighs> beast, beast. That's it. I think beast says it all. It says it all. And for you guys that love these big, heavy duty, crazy knives, I mean, really, I mean, also put it on your coffee table just as a conversation piece. It's amazing. You know, and you know, I mean, a lot of knives are out in that $300, 280 to $320 range out there. This is, uh, to me, um, I, I, it's just totally worth it. I love the design. I was really drawn to the design. I did had no real appreciation of the of that how heavy duty and beastly this knife was going to be. I mean, I really didn't have an appreciation for that until I had it in my hands. And then I go, I just started laughing. Actually, I just started laughing because it was just great. My wife thought I'd lost my mind, which I probably have anyhow. But you know, I just started laughing because it was like, I go, oh my God, um, what the hell? But uh, <laughs> whatever. I mean, you know, and, you know, Max Ace, they make, you know, I've done a review on the Halictus, which that's 320 bucks. And then, of course, the Red Queen, both in aluminum and titanium. The titanium one's like 290 bucks, that kind of thing. So it's just, you know, Max Ace is made and, you know, bingity bing. And they make this in aluminum and they make also this in titanium, M390. Cool looking knives, but, you know, Glade. Oh, my. This knife, you will not believe. This is titanium with this red, like, lightning strike carbon fiber insert. Finger flicks so cool. It's not a flipper either, you know. And then, of course, the Assassin. I mean, I can't tell you how many people have told me, you need to get your hands on this one. This is a, an incredible knife. And they, they make them in a blue uh, Anno, I think, and this and that. But I got this stone wash. And this is a, a crazy, crazy knife. Actually, even though Max Ace makes it, and it's on the Max Ace, but this is the zipper pouch for it. So is that handsome? That's a good looking knife, crazy. In any case, we're not here to talk about them, but the burst. Are you? Are you man enough? Are you rich enough? Are you inclined to carry or at least possess a knife of this size? Not necessarily lengthwise, but it's all about the girth. 
It's all about the girth on this one. It's good. It's solid. It's crazy. And I love it. I really do. I just, I can't get over this knife. All right, I'm going to leave you to it. Forget it. Flanagan has been hiding. It's like, I don't even want to get near the knife. <laughs> it's like, hobby boy, I can't be near it. No, it's, it, if it tipped over, dude, you'd be crushed into the polymer of which you're made. You would be. Absolutely. Hey, thanks, guys, for tuning in. 30 minutes. Oh, my God. And you know what we do around here. What do we do, buddy? We love them knives, so stay sharp.